a fun morning we are having with Meredith Vieira. Welcome back. Thank and you, you. you. just got right back in the swing of things. Yeah. <laughs> Remembering it all. <laughs> it's all coming back to you, and it is all coming back. you got to tell us about it, the Meredith Vieira Show starting in just a couple weeks. Yeah, we've actually started shooting uh, uh, shows. We've got seven done at this point, so I feel like I'm sort of getting my wind and feeling pretty good about it. I'm still nervous, but so it's So this fun. is something you've done. You've obviously done The View. You've done news magazines. You've been a journalist. You did the Today Show. Millionaire. Millionaire as well. So, But this is something a little bit different. It sort of is. It's a combination of all the skills that I've acquired through almost 40 years in the business. So there's a lot of storytelling from my years as a journalist. We have a lot of games. We give away a lot of prizes. The audience loves that. <laughs> uh, and there's an opinion, obviously, from my years with The View. And the, the variety that comes with being on a show like Today, or GMA for that matter. And you told us a little bit before you you want you were nodding your head when people talked about working from home. You did the next best thing. You, your your set is your home. Pretty much, I wanted <laughs> to work from home. Sort of the Andy Cohen model of a very small yeah. audience. My husband nicks that immediately. I don't blame him. him. That is no. not going to happen. So what they did is they made a, a set that looks almost exactly like our family room. And I brought in some of my furniture. That's my chair. That from looks home. like a great it's chair. Torn, it's great because it's all torn up by the cats and the dog, and it makes people at home feel so much better about their own furniture because mine is bad. <laughs> and you've definitely tried something, and this is an innovation in, in afternoon television. You're going to interview people in the bathroom? Well, not all people, George. <laughs> it's called stall talk, and it's, you know, the, the, point being, <laughs> the point being that we find our interviews wherever we can because we're intrepid. Okay. So you might be in the bathroom and I might knock on the stall. You never know. You never know. No. And he's, so the idea is that people I doubt are it. Be, right? <laughs> yeah. You can try. And, and, and I love that you're going to have a band. Almost we have a all band, girls. yes. Yes, the band leader is Ever Bradley from the E Street Band. So he, he's normally with the boss, but he's got our band going there. And then the four other members are women. And they're fabulous. I cannot wait for this. It's going to be so and, much fun. You know, to see. I always wanted a band in my home. I was, but when you have a bad day, <laughs> love to go home and have a band there. So I asked the powers of be if we could do it, and they said, oh, okay. And you get everything and, you want. You know, we got oh, a lot yeah. of questions coming in on social media, sure. including one from Alice on Twitter. Um, she wants to know what do you think of the changes on the View? You know, that view, the show has been around many, many years, and I think that as long as the chemistry works, it's going to be great. That's right. You never actually worked with Rosie. She came in after she, you After left. me, exactly. So I never had the opportunity. But, no. yeah, so I, I think it's going to be fabulous. We also have another question if coming. If it beats my show, I'm going to be really ticked off. Are though. you up against them? I think I might be in some markets. Well, okay. Then you're not going to talk too much about them. <laughs> no, I love them. I really love them. Another one came in on Instagram. Uh, what, because this, this, is, this is an apt question. What's your secret to reinventing yourself throughout your career? You've had so many different incarnations. Uh, yeah, I think it's just, you know, trust your instincts, trust your gut. If you feel that you're ready to take a move, just go ahead and do it. Life shouldn't be linear. It's all about getting off the, the beaten path and trying something new, believing yourself. And ultimately, I use the word authentic, but I, it's a good word. Always be authentic. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to try to test you a little bit oh, right geez. now. Okay. Uh, we heard from your team that you actually got lost this summer. I did. Uh, on, on, on more than one occasion when you went hiking. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so we're going to play a little game called Where's Mare? <laughs> All you have to do is guess the location. Here's the first one. Where do I look? Where are you? Where am I? I'm. She got a little help I'm from the like team. I'm in a jail cell or something. Where am I? Well, let's find out. Oh, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. oh this is hard. Okay, well, I'll give you a little clue on the next one. Ridiculous. This next one's an American landmark. These are impossible. What? <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Okay. Oh, that was really good. Okay, one more. Uh, this is annoying now. Is that really? <laughs> I hope your games are uh, a little easier that than this. Yes. Is it Fenway Park? Stadium. Stadium. Uh, see. Yankee. Yeah. Fenway, Fenway Park. Park. Yes. All right. Excellent. My beloved Excellent. Red Sox. <laughs> well, you could have guessed that one. That is great. Well, thank you for coming in. What do you mean I could have guessed that one? I got that one. Give me credit. Right I could have guessed that one. That was good. <laughs> it was good. And it was great to have you. So Mary good Theory to see you, show too. premieres Monday on September 8th. Check your local listings for the time.